Hello my guys, welcome to another episode. In the last episode we talked about LEDs for the RAV4 uh, thanks to the company Oxido. And like I said in the last episode, I'm going to do another installation today on the interior light and reverse light. Before we do the installation, I want to show you the light that I'm working with. This is going to be the T10 LEDs. This package is going to have 10 LEDs. With this you're going to cover the trunk light, the two vanity mirrors, the two map lights, and the side markers. But before we do the installation, I need to talk a little bit about the LEDs. This is another brand. I believe this is last fit. I stopped working with them because their customer service is really bad. And this is the LED for the reverse light from them. If you notice, it has three cheap LEDs on the front and three on each side. Total of nine. This is their T10. It's only one on each side and one on the front. Not a lot of lighting for the price. I think their LEDs are their overpriced. I don't remember this one, but this one has 15 LED chips. Back in the day, we used to have these little chip LEDs. Uh, they're not really good. If you still have this, it's time to swap them without zero. I don't remember this one, but look at this. Only two LED chips. Don't remember this brand, but this is another one that I used to have. Uh, I believe it was on the map lights. Not a lot of LEDs, especially right there on the front. It's only one. Now, if you compare to Oxido, Oxido has a lot of LEDs on the front and lots of them all the way around. 360 degree lighting. That's what you're looking for. The design and the construction is a lot better than the other ones. This, like I said, is overpriced and there is not a lot of LEDs. This is the reverse lights from Oxido. Six LED chips on each side. That's total of 12 plus those three, 15. A lot more LEDs. So this is going to be even brighter. So I'm going to do the test on the stack, on the map light, on the reverse light, and side markers, vanity mirrors, so you can see the difference on all of them, and then we're going to do the installation. I already have some LEDs in the RAV4, like this side marker, and the ones in the interior. And I'm going to show you the difference because we already did some. This is the difference between the Oxido and the regular bulb. Same for the binary mirror. That's the regular bulb. And that's Oxido. You can see the difference on the lighting. I have an episode that I dedicate especially to these lenses. I'm going to put it right here so you can go and check that one out to remove them. So you just pry on this area. And remove the lens some people have problem with that they had to remove the whole console not on my case on my 2021 RAV4 this is the XLE model so right around here and remove the lens and on this vanity mirror once you pry on this side with your little tool so you can remove it and remove the light make sure that you use gloves so you don't damage the bulbs same thing for the rear if you can see right here with the regular one not a lot of lighting so to remove this one put your tool on this side write it out and remove it for this side marker i have an episode dedicated to that i'm gonna put it right here so you can go and see that one but on this case we have already a t10 from axero if you can see the color is a lot lighter and, and that's why in few days i'm gonna have some axero on amber because that one right now is super bright but i don't like the type of color because that led is white this is the regular bulb and it looks a lot better in my opinion because this looks more amber so this is the reason why i ordered two more from axero those are gonna be amber d10s once we get them uh probably in a couple more days i'm gonna make another episode so they're gonna look a lot brighter with the leds but it's gonna be amber so the color is gonna look 
much, much better in my opinion. Super bright and I like it, but not the type of color. That's why I ordered some amber. And you can see it here in the interior as well. It looks really bright on this side, not so much on that side. That's because of that light. Those are the regular bulbs on the reverse light. We're gonna replace it with auxiro. So I'm gonna show you right now how it looks on camera when you're backing up. Hopefully we can see some difference uh, when we put the reverse uh, light from auxiro. But that's how you can see it on camera. And to get to the reverse light, you just have to remove those covers. That one and that one. If you wanna do this, I recommend you to get tools like this one. This one is for the map light, very sharp, and it's gonna get the job done. And these ones for these covers right here on the trunk, these ones they're gonna work really good. So I'm gonna put the link in the description for the set so you can get this set to remove any type of trim and covers like these ones. Press on this clip to unplug the housing. Use your tool to remove this little cover. You can pry on this side and then on the front to remove it. Once you pry on this side and on that side and right here on top, you're gonna be able to remove the cover. Get some gloves and remove the ball. I'll apply right now. It looks a lot different. Same thing for the top with your tool right in the middle. Remove the cover. Once you remove that cover, just twist it to the left and pull it out. Remove the bulb. LEDs are in place. Before you close everything, put the car in reverse so you can see if it works or not. If it doesn't work, remove it, flip it, and put it back on. Same thing with those. And the ones on the inside. They work. They're super, super bright. Now, let's put everything back on and let's see how they look. I'm gonna put the footage back to back so you can see. Probably it's a lot brighter when you go in reverse. It's hard to see it in camera, but I think it is. So by putting the footage back to back, you will see. but definitely a lot of difference. So when you're backing up, you're gonna have more lighting, even with the camera, this is gonna help. And if your vehicle doesn't have a camera, uh, it's gonna be really good to have this type of LEDs, especially on the reverse, for safety reasons. But you can see, these ones are a lot brighter than the other brands. LED is in place. You can see right here a lot better than before super bright and for the dome light is gonna be 31 millimeter I don't have that one in the kit but you can check on out zero and you can choose the 31 millimeter for the light okay guys I'll leave it with that link is gonna be in the description for all the LEDs we use on this episode and thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one peace <laughs>
Mm. 